Warzone Mobile biggest ever update is going to drop and specially for Android users. Because on Play Store Warzone Mobile rating is getting down. Now Play Store rating is 2 stars. Which is really bad for a recently launched game. Make sure to watch the video till the end. And if you are new here then do not forget to subscribe dot because we cover all the latest information of Warzone Mobile. Finally developers has started taking interest in Android performance and development after watching the rating on Play Store. I will also show you the official clip where developer has taken about the big Android update. Developer has finalized all the issues for Android and has started working on it. Some major issues like blurry graphics, overheating, unsupported GPU, lags, crashes and performance issue. Which developer developers has pointed out and has started working. This new update will fix most of the issue which specially Android users are facing right now. And if you are not aware then Warzone Mobile Developers has launched the same limited release build globally without any update for both Android and iOS. That's why we are facing all these issues. Global version updates still has to drop and according to the developers new updates will drop soon. For iOS users developers will release a new worldwide build on the other hand Android users will receive global updates on this same limited release APK. Here is the official clip where co-studio head Chris Plummer has addressing to fix the major issue specially for Android. Now Android users be happy and do not forget to subscribe. It's been great to watch everybody playing the game. Uh, the team across all the studios is, you know, busy at work, um, you know, monitoring how people are playing, checking out the community feedback um, ever since launch. So it's been really exciting. Uh, there's been a ton of feedback and actually a lot of stuff that we can work with, which is like really, really awesome. Uh, and so we've been running with it. So the team's been super busy um, doing things like, you know, monitoring and also like putting together a hot fix. Our first one, or you know, one of the first ones you'll see anyway, um, that we hope to get live sometime later today. Some of that includes there were some graphics and performance things that came up on some certain Android devices. Um, so a lot of that is what this particular update is about. But there's some there's some other things in there too. Uh, for example, we saw some issues that were preventing certain devices from getting full fidelity graphics. Uh, so. That will definitely help uh, in those cases. Um, we've uh, we've also been able to speed up the time that it takes to stream assets on certain devices. So, you know, it can start out sort of at low fidelity and start streaming in as you play. Um, some devices, that was taking longer than we expected. So uh, put in some fixes for that. Also, there were some graphical corruptions and even crashes that we saw uh, reported. And we were able to, to address some of those. You know, there's even an issue where there was a large number of unsupported devices that actually did have access to the game and could download it. Uh, so some folks were getting this unsupported GPU error. That's what that was about. So we fixed that. So if you can download the game, it, you'll you'll actually be able to run it, which is the intention, of course. The lobbies are hot. <laughs> I mean, if you, you've seen over the streamathon, uh, there's some pretty skilled players in there. And it's it's a totally different ballgame than you know playing with bots. And we've been talking about that. I think the players are are seeing it and feeling it as well. We're, we're seeing how it plays out with certain uh, lobby mixes, like for example, letting um, Bluetooth controllers and touchscreen players like play together and just see, see how it plays out. So it turns out, you know, looking at the data, there's only a very small number of people who are actually playing on controllers. So 95% of the matches that have played since we launched are touchscreen only, lobbies with only touchscreen players. So if you're in a match and you think you got smoked by a Bluetooth controller, it is possible, but 95% of the time it, it wasn't. But that's something we want to keep an eye on, right? We want to make sure it's fun for everyone. And uh, the team has been looking at tuning around that to make sure that um, the lobbies are uh, you know, fun for everyone. Uh, I think our 20-minute uh, uh, quads BR is the one we're going to try and keep the most pure uh, to form, and then uh, some of the other lobbies like uh, Mobile BR, we're going to be looking at little things like you know, maybe there's some some TTK tuning we can do, maybe there's some other little fine tunings, nothing like radical, but like little tweaks and stuff that we can make to make sure that um, everyone's having the best time they can. You know, keep playing for everyone out there who, who, who's playing. You know, keep giving us the feedback in the comments. If you're having a blast with this game, then you know, get on our official socials on uh, on our official X uh, Discord and Reddit channels, and let us know. Let the team know that you're enjoying the game. And if you're having a 
problem or a challenge or a, you know you've, you've run into an issue, well, let us know that too. You know, get on the social channels, the official channels. Um, let us know which device you have. That helps a lot. Um, let us know um, if you have a screenshot or video. Even your your player ID can help sometimes uh, on those. So keep that feedback coming. Constructive feedback is what helps us make the game better. And we're always listening to you. Um, and and hopefully you're noticing the game is always getting better.